Hello and welcome to this new video on my YouTube channel. My name is Lucas, I'm from KnifeArt and today we are going to talk about Tadafusa. Tadafusa was founded in 1948 and is probably one of the biggest knife manufacturers or knife forges today in the Tsubame Sanjo area, so in Niigata. They are not only producing their own Tadafusa brand, but they also work as an OEM manufacturer, which means that they are producing a lot of different knives for many different brands uh, that are sold uh, individually. I was lucky enough to get a tour around the factory, so today I'm going to show you how a Tadafusa knife is made. I wasn't able to film all of the steps because yeah, it's just so many and I was a little excited, so sometimes I just forgot to take some videos. Also, uh, I was there in the afternoon, so some machines were already shut down. Still, I think you can get a great impression of how Tadafusa produces their knives. I was actually surprised to see how many steps are required to produce a knife at Tadafusa. It's around 20 depending on the quality of the knife and the finish. Uh, and I was surprised to see how many steps are still done by hand despite the factory producing, I'm not sure, but I guess maybe something like a three digit number of knives every day. So the first step I can show you is choosing the raw material. Tadafusa works with a lot of different uh, materials reaching from Aogami, Shirogami up to SLD, uh, which is actually one of my favorite steels. Uh, so I really like the Tadafusa knives. And yeah, the steel is chosen and then uh, it's forged at the beginning. Tadafusa actually forges not the shape of the knife, but they forge like blanks that are something like square. Uh, they forged some different sizes and after that, in the next step, uh, the specific knife, knife shape is cut out uh, by a press cut. Uh, so that just makes the production a little bit easier, makes the knife a little bit cheaper uh, and doesn't influence the quality at all. So I think that's a great way to do the mass production. After that, the knife goes to hardening and after that, there's someone checking that each blade is straight uh, by looking at it and fixing uh, bends with a hammer. Once the blade is hardened and straight, it goes directly to sharpening. Tadafusa has a lot of different lines and different price ranges. And for the cheaper knives, they use a sharpening robot where they just put the knife in and the robot does all the sharp sharpening automatically. For the more pricey knives, they sharpen them by hand, just as any other blacksmith would do it. Once the rough sharpening is done, they attach the handle. Tadafusa offers several different knives and they have European handles as well as uh, Japanese handles. So you can choose the handle style depending on your preferences. For the European handles, there's also another polish needed. Uh, the Japanese handles already come polished from the handle factory. Once the knife is ready, they stamp the logo on the blade and they do the final sharpening, including quality control and lastly the packaging. That's all the steps I saw. I really hope you got a great impression from the factory. After visiting that, I also went to the showroom to see all the different knives Tadafusa produces. Uh, I was surprised by how many shapes they offer. So there were even some shapes that I didn't know. So please have a look on this photo and let me know in the comments uh, which shapes you recognize. Well, that's it with today's video. Uh, thanks a lot to Sonesan and all the staff from Tadafusa for welcoming me in their factory. I really hope you learned something and you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a like, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my email list that is linked in the video description below. That was my last video from Sanjo. The next stop will be Aomori and after that we will go to Echisen. Uh, so it's definitely worth subscribing. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.